What's up? This is Kong from X Faders, and in this video, we're going to cover how to restore uh, Mac OS in the event that you've had a hard drive failure. Uh, specifically, we're going to restore it from a Synology or network attached storage uh, backup. Hopefully, you had a time machine backup already in place, but if not, check out this video in the top right corner. This will walk you through on the steps required to do a time machine backup, hopefully, going forward. The first thing you'll need to do to access the built in recovery mode for Mac OS is to hold the Command R. Uh, keys once you turn on the device. Be sure to continue to hold these down until you start to see this logo or something similar to it and then eventually this page will show up here. If you've been following along in the OCS series then we were able to make a time machine backup of this machine here um, and that is actually stored on the Synology NAS at the moment. So what we're going to do is actually reference that image to restore the hard drive back to where I last um, was using it or last had it. So once you click on the restore from time machine backup and go ahead and click continue, you'll be greeted with this page here, um, just with a little bit of information that you need to know. I would highly recommend using the ethernet cable to restore your machine. This will just make the process go a lot quicker and it's a lot more reliable connection. When you're ready, go ahead and hit click continue and you're going to choose the restore source, which will be the OSX TM. Uh, this is the image stored on the Synology NAS. You'll be greeted with a pop-up window that will ask you for the credentials. So if you just uh, enter in your username and password for the device, it'll log you into it. If you notice at the top too, that the original installation of it, which is OSX, that hard drive at the top, is where it's actually installed. So on in the next step, you will not see uh, that partition available because it still thinks that you can possibly restore from um, that OSX. So we'll try and point you to one of the other uh, partitions that doesn't have a uh, installation already on it. So let's say for instance that I have a backup, let's say the one on July 26 at 946 has some bad files and it or something went wrong. I can actually go back to the one at 715 and use that to restore the machine. So once you click on it, you can go ahead and click continue to move forward. And as I mentioned before, when you're able to select a destination, it's trying to choose a drive that doesn't already have an installation on it. So the only way to clear that up is to use the disk utility at the very beginning of the video to wipe the hard drive. But um, I don't think you'll need to do that step if you're at a point where you just need to completely restore the machine. But for good measure, I'll just go back quickly and show you what that section looks like. So if you just hit the uh, close button or exit out of the time machine restore, it will take you back to where you can choose disk utility. And over here on the left, when you look at internal hard drive, you have the option to click on the OSX partition. And from here, if you look directly in the center of the screen underneath the disk utility title, it has the option to erase the drive. So you'll be able to clear off the drive and go back through the uh, time machine restore and choose that drive to restore the image to. And that's pretty much it. This video was just to sort of round off the whole backup and restore process for OSX. If you need any context or you need to refer back to any of the older videos, please do so so you can understand how we got to this point here. But if not, that's pretty much all I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on the website at www.xfaders.com.